Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will show you guys how to create our own custom boat using the free Community Ocean project. The boat model I will include for download in the project files and I will show you how to set up the buoyancy as well as set up the cloth physics for the sails. And then finally we can jump in and drive the boat around. So before we get started, 80% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So make sure you hit that sub button, hit the bell icon as well because I am going to be uploading a lot of exciting new videos and you do not want to miss out. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you will need for this tutorial is the Community Ocean Project. It's a free ocean plugin that I've mentioned in previous videos. You can download it from GitHub here. The supported Unreal Engine versions are 4.22 and anything below that. Any version of the engine that is higher than 4.22, you want to follow my tutorial on how to update the project to a newer version of Unreal. But otherwise, you just hit clone and download and download the project as a zip. Once you have the project downloaded and extracted, you also want to download the project files for this tutorial, which is right here, the tutorial boat. I've created this free boat model a while back for another separate project I was working on. It's not the very best model as I was quite new to game development when I made it. So you guys can do whatever you want with it, I don't really care. Today, however, we will import it into the ocean project and set it up as a drivable boat and set up some cloth physics for our sail here and our flag. Basically, if you were to do this with any other boat model, maybe your own, you first want to make sure that you have a custom collision model for your boat. You would set this up by creating your own simple geometry in your 3D modeling program of choice. Make sure that it's named UCX capital letters underscore and then the name of your model and then underscore 01, 02, or 03. As you can see here, I've created three collision models here. It's a very simple geometry, one for the boat and then one for each side of the rails. Obviously, you can do more and make it go around all the rails, but again, this is just very simple. One more thing to note, if you are doing custom cloth physics for your sails, you also want that to be a completely separate mesh. So when we export this model, it will just be the sails, for the boat model, and then with the collision selected. And so you'll just have the sails and your boat model. Okay, so with all that technical info out of the way, let's go ahead and import our boat. So go ahead and open the Ocean Project. Make sure you make a new folder in your content browser. You can name this Tutorial Boat. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to your content browser. Go to your content and go to the Ships and Examples. This will be included in the Ocean Project. And then go ahead and copy or duplicate the BP underscore boat. But we can go ahead and drag that into here click move here okay and then what we want to do now is go ahead and import our boat go here to the project files drag and drop the tutorial boat and then you want to leave all these settings the way it is you can click import materials alright and then we have these sails here we can also drag and drop those and then you want to click skeletal mesh make sure it doesn't have a skeleton and then import materials and then you want to go ahead and shift click all the textures go ahead and just drag this into here as well alright now that all of our textures are imported we can go ahead and set up all of our materials here okay so we go ahead and open up the frame hole sails and then you also want to open up the boat material okay so go ahead and drag the boat textures to the boat. Go ahead and hook those all up. Okay, and then just add a constant here for the metallic and a constant here for the roughness, 0.2. Go ahead, save that, close that. Then we have the sails here. Drag in the three sails textures and hook those all up. And then add a roughness, 0.3. And then click on the sails right here. Make sure you click two-sided because it is cloth and then just save that okay and then for our mask all you want to do is select the mask textures hook those up and then for the hole you just drag in 
the whole textures and hook those up as well. Save and close that and then for the frame you just drag the frame textures and hook those up as well. So and for our rope textures you just have to open up the rope textures here. Okay and then drag off the texture coordinates and for rope number one you can just leave the UV tiling at four and four. And then for rope number two you can leave the tiling at around eight and eight. And then for rope number three you could probably do four and four as well. So the reason why there are three rope textures is again this model is not the most professional model uh, I made it like a year ago so so yeah anyways uh, the ropes looking pretty nice and everything looks pretty good so we can go ahead and save this now what you want to do is open up the sales skeletal mesh that we imported and then click on the cloth make sure that you have this selected and then right click create cloth data from selection click create and then click on the sales clothing right here and then click activate cloth paint all right scroll down to the bottom change the brush radius to something like a hundred and then the paint value to something like a thousand okay now what we want to do here is just paint all the cloth that will simulate so we can just leave the tips of where the cloth connect and it really doesn't have to be perfect Okay, just like that. Okay, so we can go ahead and deactivate the cloth paint. Right click this, apply clothing data, sales clothing. And then you can see the cloth is simulating. Just let it compile the shaders. Then we can go ahead and open up the BP boat that we duplicated from the ships and examples. Then you want to go to the viewport here. Click on the class defaults right here. Go down right here and search tutorial boat. All right, so after you change the mesh here to the tutorial boat, you can see we just need to adjust a few things. Uh, the capsule enter location, we can change that. Okay, that's just basically where the player is going to drive the boat from. So now all you want to do is make sure you have the BP boat selected here. Add a component, add a skeletal mesh right here. Okay, and then you just want to name this to sales. And then you can select sales right here and compile, save that. All right. And then now we can go ahead and dra drag this into our scene here. And before we play this, we just need to set up the buoyancy. So to do that real quick, we just drag this up right here, go to the details, to the buoyancy tab right here, and then you can see here you have these test point arrays. You just want to add a six of these. So and then what you want to do is drag these test points uh, and position them around the boat here. You can set the array points based off of this reference right here. This default fishing boat that comes with the project and just copy this go over here and paste that there okay it'll paste all the values here for us we just have to adjust them to lower them a little bit so we just need to adjust the z-axis okay so we'll just change all of these to negative 200 to lower it a little bit okay so when we hit simulate you can see here it's a little bit glitchy so we just have to adjust the test point arrays. So let's go ahead and make this negative 100. And then we'll hit simulate and see how well it goes. Okay, just click play from here. Jump in our little boat. You can see we're walking on the boat here. Press E to interact. And then we make this F11 for full screen. And you can see we can drive the boat and it's pretty fast. So we can adjust the speed of the boat and also a bit of the buoyancy to make it less uh, buggy. So we can just click it here. Scroll up to our forward speed, make it something like 1000. Steering speed more like 100. Press E. You can see. So 
a little less shaky when we go against the waves. And then when we drive our boat, it's much slower than previously. And that, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Guys, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.